Hey, hello, this is David Wormsley and this video is on Beaver Tunnels. I've mentioned the Beaver Tunnels plugin a few times before, but just as passing remarks, I've never done an overview. And with them releasing the new 2.0 version, which contains a lot more power, I thought it was time to do a video just on them alone. And they've also had a little bit of rebranding. As you can see, they have now this Beaver mascot that goes with their Beaver Tunnels branding. Now, now, I don't want to waste your time if you're already quite familiar with tunnels as this is just going to be a basic overview in which case if you do know it I would head off to the link that's below this video and that will take you to this site tunnels.beaverjunctions.com where my live demo site is set up here so all you need to do is to go and answer the capture here press the try demo give it a few moments because it needs to create a wordpress install a copy of this and get you logged in but once you're there you will have a copy of the beaver builder theme with the beaver builder plugin and obviously beaver tunnels and i've also set up a woo commerce shop a simple one there and just below here to get you started i've copied and pasted from their own blog some of the new conditionals that are in version 2 so you can check those out but to help you a bit further I've set up some examples on this page. Now, these are some of the experiments I was doing when I was doing some beta testing for this version. But what I've done is I've kept the safe templates on a page here, and I've put little comments here to show you what conditions have been set. And you can go and click on the button against each of these and see where they are showing within the theme and within WooCommerce. And I've tried to cover uh, most of the things that are here, the timed content and some extra pages that on those new conditions, but I've not covered anything like what it can fully do. So hopefully this would be enough though to get you started and to see whether you think it's good for you. But for the people who are not familiar, this will make no sense. So I'm gonna go back to the beginning and explain a little bit more about the Beaver Tunnels plugin. So what it is, is it's an add-on to the Beaver Builder plugin and it allows you to use save templates and place those in various hookable areas of your theme for display. Display. But what also goes with it and what makes it powerful are the display conditions. And that's what new ones have been added here for this second version. And it really does allow you to choose how and when your content is displaying. It allows you to choose who's in fact going to see it based on their role in WordPress. And also one that I liked, it allows you to show that content on a time or date basis, which is, I think, particularly useful. Now, I like Beaver Tunnels because it helps me with my plan of trying to allow clients to have more control over the back end of their WordPress installs. Typically, I've worked with plugins that have helped me to do the job of building it, but they've not been that friendly. So combined with the Beaver Builder theme, the plugin and this, it's something that I could hand over quite a lot of power, I think, to a client. So that's why I like it. And I should mention as well, full disclaimer, I, I am putting affiliate links for this. So if you do click on those, I'm going to get rich very quickly because of the obviously because of the quality of my videos. <laughs> I don't think so. But anyway, you should know that uh, I will get a small amount if uh, you click via my link and you don't need to do that, of course. But let me also just cover the thing about the I said that it will work on your theme. But in actual fact, it works on the three most popular themes that uh, Beaver Builder plugin users tend to go for, which is the Beaver Builder theme itself, the Genesis framework and generate press. And when it comes to hookable areas of other plugins, it also supports WooCommerce, easy digital downloads, and a plugin I'm not so familiar with, which is a WordPress donations plugin. So I guess used by charities a lot called Give. And I think that covers the basic summary of what the plugin's all about. Let's go and take a look at the back end. So here I am actually in the demo site. So it's a multi-install. So things might look a little bit different to you on your single install. But a change with this version is that they moved their settings over into the page builder settings. So the Beaver Builder plugin page 
build the settings and you can click on here. Now, I think on your single install, it will have above here where you would put in your license key. But let me just cover this here. This is where you'd also find the hook guide which you can hide. Now you'll need the hook guide and I'll show you this in a minute if you're not familiar with it. That shows you where your hookable areas are for the theme or say WooCommerce or that kind of plugin. But you can turn these off and I would probably do this handing over to a client. There's no reason for them to start looking for hookable areas. So I turn that off and get that out of the way. There's also this template override. And if I'm correct still, when you load in Beaver Tunnels, it changes slightly the editable area of the uh, template area so it removes the header and footer and gives you a clean slate and if you don't want that to happen you can just disable that and bring those headers and footers back so that's the settings there one more thing on settings and one more update on the plugin is that uh, on version one they did add at some point some white labeling so if you are an agency user of beaver builder you've got the option to set your brand in. It's not showing here on my multi store. You can set those up and, and name your theme and your plugin what you like. And Beaver Tunnels used to automatically change to that in terms of the plugin, but not the theme. Well, they've changed that now so that the theme also takes that. So it does it automatically for you. So that's a few backend things. Let's go over and have a look at the site now. This is the same site you were just looking at, but now I'm logged in. As you can see, I'm using the condition here. I've, this is a save template that's showing me because I'm logged in here. So that's that. Let, let me just start from the, the basis because I know this has thrown a few people who've started with Beaver Tunnels how to use it. So perhaps the first thing you would start off with when you come over to Page Builder, you can see it's added these areas. Now these are your hook guides. So if I select a particular page or a template, it will show me the hooks for the theme I'm on now. It knows that I'm the Beaver Builder theme, so it's showing me those options. And it also knows I've got WooCommerce installed, so I could look at the WooCommerce hooks. And let's just do that because that's something that I guess many people have not looked at yet. So let me just take a display there. And as you can see, I've hooked something in here. This isn't part of WooCommerce. This is a hook that I've put in. So let me just go and select our hookable areas for a WooCommerce page. And here it just shows me the hookable areas where I can place this. And I've obviously placed this one under the, uh, just uh, after the, the hook title over there. So you can just go through each of the sort of setups. And it's really powerful when you come to looking at some of those other pages, like the cart page, I've hooked in an area over here and we have a money back guarantee. And these are all in the examples so you can check out. But that's generally how you would find your hookable areas. You use this as a reference, but in terms of, of working with those displays and getting those templates to work, this is where the sticking point was. So let me just go over to say over here. Well, actually we'll use our example page. So when you're kind of creating these save templates, you would probably be in your page builder and you may make this in fact there's no reason for me to make one there here so if i make my say saved row in this case i could use a module and then i go and save this content as and name it it will show then as one of my templates over here <laughs> i think what throws people is that they go to maybe make some changes and think well what next how do i get them into my theme well it's quite simple actually it's, it's all back-end stuff it's like working with posts this will only take you to the uh, template area where you can adjust it globally and change those things what you need to do is actually go into the back end through templates so let's just go to the back end and we need to be looking in here at all our templates to decide where we are hooking these in. And first of all, if you're not seeing templates here, you need to make sure that you've actually set these to show in your page builder settings, because I don't think by default these are showing. So once that's on, you can come to all templates and you just, instead of going to the page builder end of it, you're just going in like a normal WordPress post. And there you will find your Beaver Tunnel settings. And that's where we work with it from this end here. In case you don't see this, which is unlikely, I'm sure it just turns on. Obviously we need to make sure that we've got the meta box showing here under screen options. And it's like any other meta box, we can drag it around 
to wherever we like. Now, as I say, I've set up that demo and I think that probably covers things. But as you can see here, how it works is that you've got all of the options that are available now. I've got a ton of WooCommerce hook areas where I can put in content. And then what we get here, I can either do the simple thing, which is a display global, which will put it in all of those hooked areas. And that's the easiest thing to do. And then we can set our display conditions. And this is something where maybe I think Daniel's been doing some videos on this. He's certainly got one video up on it. This probably needs a bit of explaining because it's a lot of messing around. You've got different areas to choose and probably hopefully my demo offers you a few and gives you some idea about how these work but you've got lots of different areas page templates we can select post singular we can select terms for the archives taxonomies and obviously the user settings and our date settings that i was just showing you about here uh, i've used a, a day of the week one and we can add plus so it needs to be this so this and this can work or we can use an or rule so it's either this or this and we can also set now to equals or not equals so there's an awful lot of flexibility and as always if you needed something in the same place we have a priority over here so the default here is set to 10 but if we needed something that was being hooked into exactly the same area and we wanted it to go above it we would need to give it a higher priority by just changing these one up so if I had a 10 and I had this in exactly the same place and I wanted another hookable area to go in I would remove this up to 11 and then the the new one would sit above the old one so as you can imagine too much for me to cover in one I need to take some practical examples of this but I hope this sort of gives you some basic overview of how it works but you know in simple terms once you set this up it may be quite simple for a client to come in and change their templates and maybe change their dates and in fact just before I go on let me just show you uh, one of the date ones so if I go back to all my templates and I can show you this actually let me just come out of this and oh yes I've come into a template so I have to save twice so here we go now I have actually something set to show on my woo shop over here now it's a timed one so it's not going to work because I've set it for a Monday it's in my examples to show as a Monday now if you want to see that working we go to this no, that's money. Let's look for Monday. Ah, timed. Here we go. Monday. So if I go into this one, and as you can see, that's how it was showing. And let me just go and change this, even though it says Monday on it. If I go and change this to today, which is a Wednesday, and update this. So this is something a perhaps a client could do, but you would probably set these on a timer for them anyway to change their content, and they would only deal with the template itself so there we are and it's showing monday on that date so that's kind of how it works anyway thank you for listening to me i hope the demo is of some use i'll probably expand on it maybe i'll add some more videos it depends what's already gets published out there but thanks for listening to me i hope this was of some use and i'll talk to you again soon thanks a lot Bye bye